How to use Google Sites to build a portfolio step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how you can build a portfolio like this using Google Sites. So let's get into it. Now, using Google Sites can be a simple and effective way for anyone to build their portfolio, especially if you're someone that's not in the tech industry. If you're someone that just wants a portfolio, and you don't want to put in a lot of effort because who does if you're really building this just as a standard portfolio where people can just view your work you don't need to do a 5000 loop around and you don't need to build carousels in your website you just need a simple and neat portfolio so you can easily do that with the built-in features with google sites and you don't need to do any coding you don't need to pay anyone you don't need to pay for any plugins extensions or other tools as well so let's get started. Now, the first thing you have to do is head on over to your Google account and type in sites.google.com in the URL bar. Now, I have already logged on to my Google account in my Chrome browser. That's why it is automatically opened this up. And you have a couple of different portfolios as well. So you can click on these portfolios to get started and choose a portfolio of your choice. And this can be your starter template and you can use that. And you can also customize and create your own. Now, just to give you guys the overview, I'll show you guys the photo portfolio and how you can customize this. They have a photo portfolio template as well as a student template. So you guys can see they have a simple block editor and you can enter your business name. Then you can click on these sections to customize them. Then you can click on pages and then add the about section as well. And that is how you can customize, you know, any pre-existing template. But we're going to start from scratch and we're going to build this type of template that I've previously built for you guys. So you guys can see this has a video inserted, which can be a great way for people to promote their, you know, business or their skills. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do all this. Now to get started, I like to click on blank over here on the top left. And this gives me a blank header. Now in this header, I usually like to add like a welcome section or a title section. So Jane's portfolio like this. Now, once you've added the text, you can select the text and choose the font of your choice. So let's say I want to use this particular font and then I can choose the font size as well. So let's say I want to decrease that and make it bold. And then you can choose whether or not this is supposed to be title or heading text, whichever one you want. And you can place this wherever you want in these sections. So you can move it right or left simply by holding it from the top center section. And then let's say I want to place this over here. I'm going to change the font back to this one. And then we're going to use a bold style with a smaller font like this. And then I'm also going to maybe go with this one instead. Or maybe that one. But this is how I've structured my text. Now on the top left, you are supposed to add a logo. So you can click on the logo section over here and then you're going to click on upload and you can upload your own logo. I don't have a logo, so I'm just going to use this as my logo and you have your color for the theme and I'm just going to click on upload over here and this is going to be our logo. Now, once you've added your logo, you're going to see it on the top left and you can still add your site name like this. And then in the basic header section, I'm going to add welcome to Jane's portfolio like this. And then I'm going to, yeah, I think this looks pretty good. I'm going to add a top space or maybe not like this. So I'm going to structure it like this and I'm going to change the alignment to the central alignment for the entire text. We're just going to align it to the center, leaving all spaces out like this, align it to the center, and then give a space in the center like this. Now, after this, you're going to choose your header style. So I'm going to choose my header type to be a large banner, and then I'm going to click on image, click on upload, and you can upload your header image. So it can be any image of your choice. I'm just going to use maybe this one, click on open over here, and the image will be added. Now, below that, we're going to start building our next section, which might be your product services or, you know, whatever type of skills that you have in your portfolio. So I'm going to click on the content blocks on the left, and these are three content blocks that have been added. 
and then I can upload the images that are representative. If you don't have images, you can just click on this and delete the image section and just type in text instead. But I'm going to keep the original type of content block and click on upload. And you can upload your images. You can also click on select image and select them from your pre-existing recent images that you might have. And we can also upload from our drive, YouTube, calendar, and more. But I'm just going to upload from our device and I'm just going to upload in all three sections in the same way like so and now once you have clicked on upload over here you can start editing your text so this might be in our portfolio let's say it's runway experience I want to add that then it might be in of color customization and then maybe in our portfolio we also want to add rest powder skills or whatever and then after that you can add some subtext as well just giving a brief intro of your skills but i'm gonna delete this because i don't want to add that and then what i like to do is that to add a detailed account of all of these skills that i am saying that i have i like to click on pages and then click on in the new page and using the basic you know sections that i created i like to create pages like this and now i have the runway experience page now i'm gonna click on over here and build our second page which might be skin of color you know whatever page title you have and then you can go on ahead go back into your home page and then click on these images over here and you will see in this section you can click on the headings and click on this chain icon click on insert link and then i'm going to link the runway experience page to this text section now after that we're going to add our youtube video so to do that you can first off you can go ahead and add some space over here with a divider and i'm going to add some space with a divider you can also do the same thing with the spacer as well if you want a larger space like this so if you want a emptier space in between your sections especially if your portfolio is more so text-based breaking it down into different sections can be a help as well now going on, I'm going to click on YouTube over here and then I'm going to search for, you know, you're going to upload your own video over here. You're going to link to your own video, but I'm just linking to this makeup video and then I'm going to place this over here. Now, I don't want this randomly inserted, so I want some context around this. So I'm going to go into the insert section on the top left. I'm going to click on text blocks and I'm going to enter some text. So my skills in action. So because these are like makeup skills, I want to display them. So I'm just going to enter this text over here like so. And then I'm going to change the color to red like this. And then people can view this YouTube video. Now on the bottom, I might want to add my social icons. So you can easily do that as well as add your physical location. If you have, you know, like a salon or if you have a place of work for your portfolio, then you're going to add the map section over here and you can insert your location wherever you are. So let's say we're somewhere in North America and you can, you know, drop in your location like so. And you can drop a place mark and click on select and this will be added so people can actually visit your storefront or your business. And then once you've completed this, just click on publish on the top left and choose a custom slug. So for us, it's going to be Jane's portfolio like this. And if this is taken, you can take, you know, add a few numbers and click on publish. And just like that, you have your portfolio up and running. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.